Hello there. So in this video, we're going to take you step by step how to install control net extensions on a stable diffusion. And we're going to use it automatic 1111 UI installation. And you notice right here, I already have this extension installed, but I'm going right now to take you step by step so you can repeat it if you not yet have it installed on your computer. First, what we need to do, we need to be sure we have a properly library of Python already installed on the computer. So use it your file browser, navigate to directory or root directory where you have your stable diffusion installed. Next, go on top and type CMD. This way you will have opened the command terminal with this location specifically to this place. Next, you want to type PIP space install space open cv dash python if for some reason you'll get an error that a uh, library is not installed or it's outdated then you want to open your command prompt in your user directory wherever it's located you can also just type in a cmd in your prompt and open Navigate there and type PYPython and pip install upgrade pip. So it will, if uh, the library is not yet installed, it will install it and upgrade to latest one. If you need to install it, you can see right here it's executed and it says that downloading library if required and installation. So it is installed 23. It's uninstalled and updated to 23.0.1. So this is not critical installations, but it gives you example what will happen if you need to upgrade your PIP library. And of course, if you have your Python already installed, you can keep on going. It will verify if you have the latest version. If not, it will upgrade it to it. And you can see in my case, it's already upgraded, installed to the latest. So I don't need to worry about that. Next, you want to launch your stable diffusion from the director as web UI. If you don't know how to do any of the steps to install stable diffusion on your computer, I will provide a link below so you can go and check and do by yourself if you need it. So at this point, I'm assuming you install um, stable diffusion and have it all the Python and pip library updated. So after this, you'll go to your location, wherever is your server running on of stable diffusion, going into the extensions. And in my extension, you can see I already have it, control net install it. But in your case, you want to go to install from URL and copy and paste path for the Git repository for the control net. This link will provide down in the description, so you can just copy and paste. When you're done, please click install. While the files is installed, we also need additional models to control uh, control net to work properly. And this is models for the canny depth for the open pause and other things. I will provide the link for you below so you can go directly to this link. If you're not yet logged into Hugging Face, you probably will prompt you to log in first. And after on this page, you need to download these files. These files, you'll notice they're quite a bit large size, about over five gigabyte each. Just click start downloading them and go take a little bit break. After download is complete, you need copy from the place where they're downloaded to your stable diffusion directory. Down, you're going to the extensions, SD Web UI Control Net, models, and place them inside the directory. Notice that you need to run that GitHub installation of the extensions first, so it will create for you this directory structure to copy your files afterwards. So after this, I will recommend you to go back to your extensions and just verify it so your control net is installed. And I just play here. At this time, it's very good to click on check for updates. I found out the stable diffusion, the control net update quite a bit frequently. So it's worth to go and check. If something was updated, you'll notice it's come up and says it is behind. So all what you need to do is click apply and restart. That will reload it to your system. We go back 
to your um, extension, click check update, and you'll notice after update is completed, it should be all okay and up to date. So this is a nice way to update them. The next, what we want to do, is add a couple things um, to settings for our control net. And one thing would I recommend, go in settings. Right here down below, you'll find control net tab. Click on this. You'll notice it's open all these proper options. One thing what I would say, um, increase control net models amount. So currently by default will be one. You want set maybe two, no more than three because this way when we modify with models in our next uh, videos we'll utilize more than one model and it's nice just to use it by the way if you have it more than one you don't need to use it two or three you can use it just one at the time the model okay when you're done with this again apply settings and click reload ui so at this point it should work uh, pro uh, properly you can see right here you have your control net expand and you'll have it models you also have it your models and preprocessors list available for you to make the control net model is working you'll just need to enable before you're using um, even it's display my personal experience in a few times when i did this i highly recommend for you just in case restart all of your servers so just turn uh, close at your command windows where you run the stable diffusion and after this relaunch it again so it's not necessary but in a few instances when i kind of test it it does make different for some reason something was gone wrong and it's what required for me to restart the server now we're ready to test let's go to the call image to image and there we can go ahead and just place it any image you wanted let's go type because i'm using ink punk uh, model i need to in initialize this trigger so i'll put a special word and we're going disco dancer just to test this way we'll also want to probably just set right size for now and in control net we'll expand going enable actually you know what let's try first without testing so we'll be sure that our control net is working properly so i'll have a disco dancer 75 we'll leave it everything as default and let's click on generate right here we can see it is generate image but it does not have a current pause so to verify it we'll enable control net going to select open pause what the model up open pause does will do is will analyze pose of person on our image and apply to our final result let's go ahead click on generate notice first time when you do it may take a little bit longer because actually what's happened you can see it's done loading to our memory in this open pose model okay and this time it's completed and you can see the pose of our render we created it's the same with the pause of the model on a photo so this is a very short installations and test of control net so in the other videos we're going to use this with compositing and uh, with different effects thank you for watching have a great day and all the links that you need to download the stuff will provide below